Now a developing story at five, a cyber attack has compromised data from Woolcott Public Schools and hackers are demanding a ransom. It's a story you'll remember we first brought you last night. Now for weeks, the district chose to handle it internally. And tonight, town leaders are divided about that. Channel 3 Shante Passmore is live in Woolcott and we've learned the district has not paid anything, right Shante? That is absolutely correct, Denise. And the Woolcott police chief wants to keep it this way. Tonight, cybersecurity experts say why victims often pay. It's day two of a new school year, and the Woolcott School District is racing to restore its computer system. Police Chief Edward Stevens told Eyewitness News the district received an email June 13 writing its data is now hostage, otherwise known as ransomware. The cyber assault affected three servers. Police say only the high school, middle school, and central office had a backup server. The district recovered some data, but is still locked out. Now it's considering negotiating a deal. Mayor Thomas Dunn spoke to us on the phone saying he hopes this idea is shelved. The opinion is, you know, I don't want to see any of our money go, something like that. In fact, Dunn is a member of a coalition of mayors that declared it's against paying ransoms. But Andrew Tyler from the IT company Kelser Corporation said, most often victims cave in to the demands if they don't have a backup system or the money to rebuild from scratch. It's a business decision for everyone to make as to what other choices you have. The problem is it's not a good business deal. Chief Stevens learned of the ransomware attack after reading an article Wednesday. He says investigators are meeting with federal agencies like the FBI to track those involved. Knowing there's no such thing as an honest hacker, he questions whether the attackers won't strike again if a ransom is paid. If things go the way I want them to go, there will not be any payments to anybody. And we reach out to the superintendent multiple times, but he declined to comment while the Board of Education chair has not responded to our request. And as we reported yesterday, elementary school teachers do not have access to their lesson plans, but no private data was compromised from what we learned. Live in Woolkit this evening, Shantae Passmore, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.